Hey users, welcome to today's quick tip video. Today I'm going to show how to apply rules to Spotfire visualizations. So you can show things like top 5 or top 10. Uh, you can also apply rules to show above average or other different uh, conditions. Now I'm going to show this with streaming data, but you can do this with at rest data. So let's take a look at the dashboard. So here I have oil and gas data for different wells in Texas. And, and this is showing sensor information on pumps within these oil wells. If I zoom in, you'll see these circles changing sizes, and this is based off of the pressure on that pump. And over here on the left, you'll see each individual well, as well as the value for the pressure at each of those wells. And at the bottom, there's a trend here showing over time. And as the pressure rises, these values are changing colors, and that's a signal that something might be going wrong on the pump within the well. Now, I have these controls here I've set up where I can hit top five, and this is just going to show me the top five pressure values across all of my wells. Now, again, you can do this with at rest data. I'm just showing it with streaming data here. I also have a, a detail button I can hit, and this is going to show all the wells. And I have a toggle button I can hit, which is just going to toggle between the two. Now, sometimes in the dashboard, we might show too much data, and that can overwhelm the end user. You maybe just want to show some trends on the top values to highlight insights. Uh, and this is a great way to do it. So let's take a look at how I did this. So in any visualization, you can go to the properties and you'll see the show hide items. And this allows you to create different rules. So here I've created a rule called top five pressure. And when I go to edit, you'll see that I'm using the value axis values, which is the pressure value. And I've set this rule to show the top five. Now, in these rules, you have a less than, less than or equal to, you have between. You can apply these rules to show just subsets of your data uh, however you'd like it. And this also allows me to create a name. Here I've named it top five pressure. And I'm going to hit OK. And I can check on and off this rule. And you can see the top five in the background being shown or not being shown. Now below this, I have this trend data over time. And for my rules here, I have a rule I created for greater than 600 kilopascals. And when I click that, only the wells that have values above 600 are shown. And when I unclick it, it'll show all of the wells. So that's really how you create the rules. It's, it's really simple right in the visualization properties, but you might also want to create some buttons to help the user. And I'm going to show that through Iron Python in the text area. Before I show how to create those buttons, I want to point out this page in our TIBCO community. This has the Iron Python script you need to be able to toggle on and off those different rules. And I'm going to put the link to this page in the video, video description as well. Now, I think I showed in the past how in Spotfire, in a text area, you can create buttons through this icon, uh, which is to create an action control. So I've done that to create these different buttons, and each of these will uh, call a certain action. Now, you can change the control to be a button, a link, or an image. Here, I'm just going to leave it as a button. And for this toggle script, I've simply copied and pasted the code from the community page. And I've changed the rule name to top five pressure. That was the name of the rule I used in this visualization. You also want to create a uh, script parameter called viz. So you'll hit add and you'll type in viz to create a visualization script parameter. And when you're done with that, you select your rule and then you select this script parameter and you select the visualization you want from your dashboard. So this is current pressure by well and I'll select that. And I'll hit OK and save it. And now this is just going to toggle uh, back and forth between showing all the wells or just showing the top five. Now for this other button, I've done a slight variant. This is to show detail, which is going to show all of the wells. So for this one, I don't want it to toggle. So in my script, I made a, a very slight change. And instead of having the there's an uh, extra if else statement here, I just had this to always set the rule to false, to always have it unselected. And if you want to use this same script and use it with multiple rules and uh, multiple visualizations, you can just copy and paste this again into the same script. And you can make this for another rule. And you'll have to create another viz parameter as well to, to call another visualization. Now, the other thing I want to point out is that rules can be used in multiple places, not just for filtering data. You can also use rules with color schemes. So 
here in the color properties of my visualization properties, you can actually add a rule here as well. And I can say for the top one value, uh, just make this, um, let's just make this green so it stands out and I'll hit okay. And now the top one value is always green. So there's different scenarios where that might be useful for you. So these rules are a great way to emphasize the data that's shown in your visualizations and help your users get insights quickly. A great use of this is in certain reports where on the first page you may just want the user to get a very quick insight at a glance and just see maybe the top five trending values on, on whatever data you're showing. They could then have additional pages where they drill in on details, but the first page is gonna give them a really quick insight into what's going on overall. So I hope this was helpful for you today and I hope you join us next time. Thanks.